Welcome to our Mathematics 1 class. The date today is February 11, 2022 and I'm your teacher for today, Teacher Tan. Hello again grade 1. I'm Teacher Dan from Lacan Agricultural State College and I will be your teacher for today. Now, I encourage everyone to please stand up and let us ready ourselves for our prayer. In the name of the Father of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our loving and generous God, thank you for the bountiful blessings that you have given us. Thank you for giving us the mind that can know and the heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue amidst the pandemic that has caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have bailed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us to focus on your studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gift of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the courage to use our knowledge in making difference into the, peop into the lives of people around us. All these we pray in your mighty name. Amen. The Father of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now kindly remain stand and let us greet uh, everyone with this another day through singing a good morning song. Are you ready, great one? Okay, you're ready. Let's start. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One, two, one, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? In the morning, I clap my hands. In the morning, I do my dance. In the morning, I shout hooray. This is gonna be a wonderful day. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? In the morning, I clap my hands. In the morning, I do my dance. In the morning, I shout hooray. This is gonna be a wonderful day. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Okay, good morning, grade one. I greet your classmates as well. Now, before we proceed to our discussion, let me remind you with our four class rules. First, kindly arrange your chairs properly and fit up the pieces of papers underneath. Second, sit properly. Third, always observe silence for the teacher deliver well the lesson without any interruption. And lastly, enjoy and listen 
to the teacher. It's that all clear? Okay, it's all clear. Teacher Dan now will check your attendance. As I call your name, say present. Let's start with the boys. First, um, Aloysius Bernabe. He present. Juan de la Cruz. He present. Johnny English. He here's here's not around. I think he is absent. Absent. Um, but Daniel Francisco. Okay, present. Samangubat. Okay, present. Now let's proceed to the girls. Um, Anika Amurao. Okay, present. Juana Ponce. Present. Marvin Kate Sebastian. Okay, present. Marvin Kate. Tula, present. I'm glad that most of you are present in our class today and I hope it will continue on our upcoming class. In our previous discussion, we learned about addition strategies we can apply in adding two numbers. Now I have here some flashcard and we will test if you really understand our previous discussion. I will call someone to answer each item. Is that all clear? Okay, clear. Another instruction. You are allowed to use your fingers for you to count because I know you have been struggling in adding it mentally. Is all clear? Okay, clear. Now let's proceed to our first flashcard. Find the sum of 1 plus 3. Yes, Anika, what is the sum of 1 plus 3? Okay. Are you sure 3 is the answer? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. You got it right. The sum of 1 plus 3 is 4. Very good. How about the second flashcard? Yes, Alloy, what is the sum of 2 plus 5? Okay, are you sure 7 is the answer? Hmm, let's see. Okay, very good. Our answer is 7. How about the third flash card? Yes, um, Matt Daniel, find the sum of A plus 2. Are you sure 10 is the answer? Hmm, let's see. Okay, you got it right. The sum of A plus 2 is 10. Now let's proceed to our fourth flashcard. Yes, Mabian K. What is the sum of 3 plus 4? Okay, are you sure that 7 is our answer? Okay, you're very sure about that. Um, let's see. Excellent! You got it right. The sum of 3 plus 4 is 7. How about the last flashcard? Find the sum of 4 plus 3. Yes, Marion K. Are you sure that 7 is the answer? Hmm, let's see. Okay, very good. You got it right. The sum of 4 plus 3 is 7. Hmm. I think you really understand our previous discussion. And I hope that will continue in our class today. You will listen very carefully to the teacher. Now, to boost our energy and rose our spirit. I preferred an exercise because I know grade 1 
really love to dance. Is it true that Kid One really loves to dance? Okay, I think it's true because I see it on your face that it seems that everyone are all excited. Okay, everyone is really excited. Now, um, I encourage everyone to please stand up and let's follow the song and dance entitled Finger Plays, okay? Teacher Dan will dance together with you. So let's start. Are you ready? Okay, everyone is ready. Start. that very short exercise all our energy are boost up do you want more okay i don't want any more but uh, because i'm already tired so now let's proceed to our next slide aside on our exercise i also prepare a game before we finally proceed to our discussion i know you are all familiar with the game Bring Me. But this time, we will play it with a twist. Because aside of simply bringing the right item, it must be appropriate to the number looking for. The quantity or the amount of an object depends on the answer in every problem that I will flash on the screen. Remember, before searching for the right item, you must first solve how many items do we need. For example, Teacher Dan said, Bring me a notebook as many as the sum of 0 plus 2. Since the sum of 0 plus 2 is 2, therefore you should look for two notebooks. To get additional point on our activity later on is that all clear okay it's clear are you ready okay everyone is ready let's start on our first item so on our first item first item bring me a pencil as many as the sum of four plus zero Bring me a pencil as many as the sum of 4 plus 0. Yes, Aloy, how many pencils do you have there? Okay, 4. Very good. You get a additional point on our activity because the sum of 4 plus 0 is 4. Very good. Let's proceed to our second item. Bring me a 1 peso coin as many as the total number of 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1. Bring me a 1 peso coin as many as the total number of 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1. Yes, Anika. How many 1 peso coin do you have there? Okay, 3. Are you sure the answer of 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1 is 3? Okay, you got it right. You get an additional point on our activity. You get one point because the sum of 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1 is 3. Very good. Let's um, proceed to our third item. So on our third item, bring me a crayon as many as the sum of 0 plus 3. Bring me a crayon as many as the sum of 0 plus 3. 
So remember, I'm not looking into a color. Any crayon will do as long as it's appropriate to the quantity and the it is a crayon. Okay? Yes, Mavian Kate. How many crayons do you have there? Okay, three. Hmm, are you sure that the sum of zero plus three is three? Hmm, okay. Very good. Um, you got it right. You get uh, one point because the sum of zero plus three is three. Now, let's proceed to our last item. Okay, for our last item. Bring me a sheet of paper as many as the sum of 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3. Bring me a sheet of paper as many as the sum of 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3. Remember, I am looking for only a sheet of paper, not the whole fan. Okay, let's see who will be the first one. Okay, it's Sam. Sam, how many sheets of paper do you have there? Okay, five. Very good. You get one point because the sum of three plus two or two plus three is five. Very good. Um, I hope um, you enjoy our game. And for those who did not get a point, um, we will have another game later on. And um, um, it will be um, also um, serve as your recitation, okay? So for those who get point kindly, um, send that your scores later on after our second game, okay? It's all clear? Okay, clear. Now, um, as we observe in our bring me on our game a while ago, there are some underlined addition sentence and they are 4 plus 0, 1 plus 2, or 2 plus 1, 0 plus 3, and 3 plus 2, or 2 plus 3. As we observe, two of them are only added to 0 and the other two is only exchanged their position. And later on, we will know what this addition sentence called. Our topic for today is all about the properties of addition and we will discuss um, two properties of addition namely the zero property of addition and the commutative property of addition. And I'm your teacher, teacher Dan and let's um, first um, know what are the objectives of our lesson, of our class. First, at the end of the lesson, the pupils will be able to first, define the properties of addition. Second, show enjoyment and willingness to learn addition properties. And lastly, identify and use um, addition properties to find the sum of the numbers. So let's start with the zero property of addition. Kindly read the definition of zero property of addition, Mavi and K. Thank you. Zero property of addition states that any number that we will add to zero the sum or the result will be automatically the number that added to zero. For example, um, as we observe, there are for, on the first picture, there are four cupcake, four cupcakes on a plate added to a plate without a cupcake, which indicate number zero. And the sum is automatically four cupcakes on a plate as repaired to zero property of addition concept. Another example. Another example. How many green apples are there alloy in the first bowl? 
Okay, none or zero green apples. How about our second bowl? How many green apples are there, Mavian Kate? Okay, very good. There are two green apples on our second bowl. And the sum is automatically two green apples. As compared again to zero property of addition. And as you observe here, even though zero changed its position, the answer is still the number that added to zero, which is two. There are two green apples. Now, um, let's um, try to observe and evaluate the other examples and find the sum as well on the zero property of addition chart. So let's start. So zero property of addition chart. Our first one, zero plus eight. What did you think? As the sum of 0 plus 8. Yes. Sum? Okay. 8. Very good. The sum of 0 plus 8 is 8. How about our second one? 6 plus 0. What is the sum of 6 plus 0? Yes, Alloy? Okay. Very good. The sum of zero plus 6 plus 0 is 6. And our third one? What is the sum of 1 plus 0? Yes, Joanna. Okay, very good. It's one. Now let's, how about the um, next, next one. What is the sum of zero plus nine? Yes, Anika. Very good. You got it right. The sum of zero plus nine is nine. And how about this one? What is the sum of 4 plus 0? Yes, Matt Daniel. Okay, very good. The sum of 4 plus 0 is 4. I think you really understand the concept of zero property of addition. But... I will um, always remember that um, in addition, any number that we will add to zero, automatically the sum will be that number itself. And again, um, another, um, please don't forget that even though zero has no value, it plays a big role in mathematics and in numbers. Because it can dictate the value or the amount of a number. Because if we put 1 and 0 together, it created 10. The same with other numbers such as 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, 100, and so on and so forth. It changed its value. Just like you, you probably said you're only a kid. But you have a four post. Even though at a young age, we can do something with the proper guidance of our parents. We can take or initiate an action to solve your problem. Is that all clear? Okay, it's all clear. Now let's proceed to the second property of addition, the commutative property of addition. So, can you read the definition? Yes, Alloy. Thank you. Commutative property of addition says that the arrangement of addends does not affect the result of the sum. Result or the sum. And for us to understand what is addends, Let's take a look to the parts of an addition sentence. And this is an example of an addition sentence. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Where 2 is called as the add followed by a plus sign. 
followed by another add-in, meaning the number that added together is called as add-ins. And next to our second add-ins is the equal sign, and um, the result or the outcome is called the sum. For further understanding about this property, let's observe the example. On our example number one, there are five balloons added to three balloons, and the sum is eight balloons. Now, let's try to apply the commutative property of addition. Let's exchange the position of addons 3 and 5, and it will become 3 balloons plus 5 balloons equals 8 balloons. As we observe, it gets the same result. Let's proceed to our example number 2. There are 4 red apples added to 2 red apples, and the sum is 6 red apples. Now, again, let's apply the position, the commutative property of addition. Let's change the position of the addends. And it will become 2 plus 4 apples equals 6 red apples. Yes, they get the same result because only their position changed and does not the value of addends. Now, let's us observe the following items here under community property of addition chart and let's as find the sum of each item as well. So see to the first one. What is the sum of 5 plus 1 which is also the sum of 1 plus 5? Very good! It's 6. The sum of 5 plus 1 and 1 plus 5 is 6. How about our second one? What is the sum of 2 plus 3 and 3 plus 2? Okay, very good. It's 5. How about our last one? 4 plus 3 and 3 plus 4? Okay, very good. It's 7. So I think you really understand the concept of this property, but I will give another example. Um, every time, um, in reality, every time we wear socks, um, we apply community property of addition because it doesn't matter if it's for le left foot or for right foot. The most important thing is, we are comfortable wearing our socks, okay? And that's in our discussion for today. Do you have any question? Okay, none. Since you don't have any question, I will be the one to ask questions. So I have here three questions. So let's start with our first one. So first one, what is our lesson for today all about? Okay, very good. It's properties of addition. How about the second one? What is the first property of addition that we have discussed? Okay, very good. It's zero property of addition. How about the third one? What is the second and the last property of addition that we have discussed? Okay, very good. It's commutative property of addition. Since you really are, since you understand our lesson let's play a game and this game is called as show me that number and the activity goes as simple as this first i will flash an addition sentence on my screen and aside of simply saying the right answer you must show me what the numbers look like you can use your um body or any part of it to show me that number. For example, the addition sentence is 0 plus 1. The sum of 0 plus 1 is 1. Um, you can um, show me like this. This shows number 1 or this as 3. Okay? Is that all clear? Okay, clear. Are you ready? Okay, everyone is ready. Let's start. Let's start on your first one. What is the sum of 1 plus 3 or 3 plus 1? Yes, it's 4. Very good. How about the second one? 0 plus 6. Okay, very good. It's 6. How about the third one? Can you, can you show me that number which is the sum of 7 plus 0? Okay, very good. It's 7. How about the fourth one? What is the sum of 1 plus 0 
or 5 plus 1? Can you show me that number? Okay, very good. It's 6. How about the last one? Can you show me the number which is the sum of 0 plus 1? Okay, very good. It's 1. I think you really understand our lesson for today. And because of that, let's proceed to our evaluation. For our evaluation, here is the direction. Draw a smiling face if the given shows zero property of addition and a sad face if this shows commutative property of addition. So let's start. Uh, another instruction. Um, write it on your math notebook, okay? Let's start with the first one. What, um, what is this item shows as a zero property of addition or commutative property of addition? Okay? Let's proceed to number two. Pens up if we're done answering. Okay, everyone is done. Let's proceed to number three. Okay. Pens up. Okay. Let's proceed to number four. Pens up if you're done answering. Okay. Now let's proceed to the last item. Okay. Pens up. Okay. Thank you for um thank you for listening to your teacher today and I hope um you learned something from me. But before I will end this discussion in leaving you an assignment. For your assignment, always wear your beautiful smile and enjoy the great day ahead. You can play around inside or outside your home provided that you will follow the safety protocols. Social distancing and wearing face masks is the only thing we can do to make us safe not just ourselves but also our family. Is that clear? Okay, clear. Um, thank you again grade 1 for listening and that's end our discussion for today. I hope you learned something from me and goodbye and thank you.